Hey, Tribe and Laker here. Um, I want to talk about how YouTube content and online marketing content is um, becoming very inspirational these days. And um, there is a lot of people I'm talking on a uh, daily basis who are either applying to, to, to our tribe of entrepreneurs or um, with my clients who say that um, content online became very motivational. It's very hands off it's very um inspirational but when there is no but there is no much hands-on advice there is not much um technicalities behind this so i want to tell you how you can find hands-on content how you can get practical advice on the internet and how you can go through the wobbling and through the noise the white noise of the internet um you know self-proclaimed gurus and uh people who are just sharing motivational materials so let me first get to um the um reason why content marketing is so saturated with motivational material well because this is very clickbaity and it's very easy to attract people who are not looking for what you are um offering so let's say that you want to attract anyone and those guys they are not necessarily looking for the content that you are um offering so you make something more uh, generic you make something more about everything and nothing which is more inspirational which is more um triggering emotion rather than um rather than giving hands-on advice and this is okay you know because this is how advertising works you can um advertise to general public of people who are not looking for your product or service and then you eventually capture their attention so that's very very common and um uh, what if you want hands-on specific knowledge so if you um if you are watching my channel you, you might say that um you know things that i uh share are a little bit more hands-on than most of the youtube channels but why most of the youtube channels and why most of the internet content is not hands-on and the reason for this is because um hands-on information that makes you money or that is valuable this kind of information is usually paid now obviously it costs money to get information and it costs money to distribute information so the best information need to cost money so the more expensive the information is usually the higher return uh, it can bring you obviously uh, this is just rule of thumb and it's not always the case but generally speaking paid information is better information so you should be actually paying for uh, good information you shouldn't only be uh, consuming free content well free content is great and uh, some of the some of the people on YouTube uh, such as me we do have a lot of uh, free content that is still valuable but free content is never as structured never as organized never as hands-on as information you're paying for and the reason for this is because if someone have money uh, which is budget that you're paying them to organize structure and deliver information for you then they are obviously way more motivated to do that and they have to deliver so once you pay them they do have to deliver they can't just you know get your money and then um, not deliver you information or results that you paid for because this would be scamming and then they put themselves in risk of having unhappy clients which leads to a lot of uh, bad reviews and uh, basically self-destruction of a business itself so obviously um, none of the business people uh, would do that. It's not on the advantage of any of the business guys to sell information that is not valuable. But basically, um, paid information is a better piece of content. So if you're trying to figure, hey, where is better information? Like, what is the best spent of my time? Then usually uh, this is paid information rather than uh, free uh, information and you could think that hey I'm gonna be so smart I just gonna get free information and well this is okay but eventually 
eventually once you start making money because of the information you're using for free i would encourage you to start paying for information because this can leverage amounts of money you have so that you can buy more and more and more expensive information so um, generally speaking information and time is something that is directly correlated uh, to money so uh, in the world of uh, info marketing and coaching and um, you know mastermind programs and all of this stuff um, the value that uh, those programs are uh, usually providing is leverage of your uh, time for the money. So basically, if someone is working for a few years figuring something out and, you know, it costed them a lot of money to figure something out, let's say it costed them, you know, three years of their life, which is uh, uh, priceless, and it costed them uh, more tangible assets, such as, um, let's say, costed them uh, to rent an office where they were, were working, costed them to pay for coffee and food. That they were consuming while working costed them to buy a new macbook to work on a computer to figure all this information for you so if this is the case then there has been certain investment in place so uh, let's say that it costed a lot of money it costed let's say twenty thousand dollars or maybe even more thirty thousand um, dollars uh, over the course of uh, three years uh, to figure this information, this, 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 let's say one funnel, one, one sales funnel. And then um, what people who sell information do, then they take this piece of information and uh, then they resell this. So they figure something out, they uh, break through the ice eventually, because basically uh, trying to figure something that works is like breaking through the ice. So they are breaking through the ice, they're breaking through the ice, and then eventually they do break through the ice and they have access to the stream of water, uh, which is, let's say, money, if this is money-making information. So let's uh, keep to this um, meta with this metaphor. So uh, once they have access to this information and it costed them, let's just say, $30,000, and let's say they um, want to resell this information, they can sell it for $1,000 per piece of information. Now, um, if I can distribute this information for $1,000, this means that uh, I need to get 30 people to uh, get leverage on this information. So um, to get uh, ROI on this information, to start leveraging the money that I've invested to get this piece of information. So you can get um, 30 people to pay you $1,000, you get $30,000 back. And then once you get another 30 people and you have 16 total, you already profited $30,000. So you have $30,000 that you made on the information that you have figured over the period of three years that you invested your money in, but you got um, double of, uh, on the investment. So now, uh, because um, you can scale it so much, because internet allows you to scale things so much, um, you can basically scale it indefinitely without, um, you know, exponentially increasing your cost because the information is right there. So basically, uh, it costs you, um, you know, uh, close to nothing um, to distribute this information further. So because you make money on this information, you are capable of purchasing more information. So you're capable of buying more of this. So you can, um, let's say, um, you know, find another uh, good course uh, that costs, let's say, $10,000 and pay for the information that, um, you know, cost it um, them, let's say $100,000, you can just buy it for $10,000. Now you can leverage and you can leverage on this information, not in a way that you are reselling this information further, because in most of the cases you would have to sign on compete or NDA that you're not gonna copy information uh, from the program that you paid for. Um, but you can reuse this information in your business and it can generate you uh, more money. So um, as you can see, the free information is, is is great. And this is, you know, something that a lot of people are sharing, some of them more, some of them less. I think I share uh, slightly more hands-on advice on YouTube um, comparing to other people, because, you know, I would find a lot of people wobbling around on YouTube without having anything specific. So I think it's still a little bit better. But um, Still, the free information is kind of like a gift from people who uh, are slightly further ahead and um, they are oftentimes trying to inspire you um, by giving you this free information so you can take advantage of that. Breathe and feel the life and feel our heart.